Let's make a yolio for a friend. Mm. I asked my brother to come help me. As usual, he was so excited and jumped right up. Garlic and chili in, and keep adding cold olive oil so the ingredients release more flavor without burning. Drain your pasta al dente and cook longer with pasta water to make it extra creamy. Mmm, just gorgeous. Let's make a cabbage and sausage saute. Mm. Cut the cabbage in half, then core. Cut in half again and shred. Watch your fingers. Cut up the sausage into bits. Slice up the onions. Grab a pan. Let the butter sizzle. Add onions, breadcrumbs, sausage, and cabbage. Let it cook. Dinner is served. Yum. Today we're making two ingredients bagels. So first we need yogurt and almond flour. Mix it all together. Also guys, I have a competition. My mother is making food. <laughs> Should look like this. So I added some salt and pepper. So I shaped them into bagel slash donut shapes, lol. Now I'm taking the everything but the bagel seasoning and we sprinkle on top. Should look like this. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna put them in the oven. And should look like this. Now I am waiting about 10 minutes so they cool and we're gonna do a taste test. Let's make Puerto Rican pineal. It's a two day process, so let's get started. First to marinate. Get three heads of garlic and add all your garlic to a bowl. Along with the juice of three limes, the juice of one orange, one whole bunch of cilantro, a tablespoon of cumin, chili powder, onion powder, Mexican oregano, a whole lot of salt, and black peppercorns. Add in a fourth cup of oil. Blend it all together. You're gonna need a bone in skin on pork leg. And you're gonna need to score the skin in a cross hatch pattern. Pour over your marinade, massage your pork. Then wrap up your pineal and let it marinate for at least 24 hours. Then after 24 hours, place it in a 250 degree oven for 10 hours. And after 10 hours, you have roasted flaky pernil. And lastly, you have to crisp up the top fat. So turn your heat up to 450 for 20 minutes. And finally, your pernil is done and it's extra crispy. And then serve up your pernil with some white rice and black beans. It's delicious. Once you try this turkey wrap, you will never go back. Start by mixing up some mayo and garlic and spread it all over the turkey and then add in some smoked turkey, cayenne pepper, and more of the garlic mayo. Wrap it up and toast it on each side until crunchy. Cut up and enjoy. We got fresh gnocchi, guys. Let's make it into the most delicious 10-minute sauce. Ingredients. Butter and sage gnocchi are a mixture made in heaven, just like you are. Melt one stick of butter on a low flame and add the sage, making sure it doesn't overcook. Fresh gnocchi cooks fast. You know they're done when they float at the top. Add them to the sauce and sprinkle some parmigiano cheese. I like toasted almonds, so it's fancy and delicious. Just gorgeous. Here's how you make taco egg rolls. You'll need some leftover taco meat straight out the fridge. Do not heat it up. Some cheese, spring roll shells, and egg wash. Add the taco meat, then some cheese. Wet the sides with your egg wash. There you go. Now fry. Cook for two minutes on each side until golden brown. Now dip it in your favorite taco sauce. This is a recipe for one of my very favorite side dishes called smash cucumber salad, which is a delicious Chinese cucumber salad. Some people refer to it as cracked cucumbers, but nobody has ever invited me to have any crack before, so I don't really have anything to compare it to. So the first thing you want to do is peel your English cucumber and cut it in half. Then you want to mash it with the side of your knife, but be careful. Then you want to take the seeds out, but I don't do that because I don't like to waste food. And then I cut it into little pieces, put in some sesame oil. I like a lot of sesame oil, rice vinegar, then some soy sauce, crushed red pepper, just a little sprinkle of that, a little sprinkle of brown sugar, honey, or regular sugar, garlic. Then you can put in some salt, some pepper too, if you would like, let it macerate for a little while and then enjoy. I'm making oven roasted vegetables and my secret is to lay parchment paper over the pan so that the bottom of your veggies don't turn black. I went to the farmer's market, got lots of great stuff. I'm gonna wash all my vegetables, cut, lay them flat in the pan in a single layer. Then I drizzle olive oil over the whole thing. You're gonna need a pretty good amount. Next up, I'm gonna drizzle some balsamic vinegar. This is optional. 
but I think it gives it a great flavor. I also cracked fresh salt and pepper, but that's kind of hard to film one-handed. Next up, I have garlic powder, onion powder, and Italian seasoning. Look everyone, I'm seasoning my food since you claim I don't. After that's done, here's one of my kids sniffing the vegetables and excited about the roasted mushrooms. Throw that in the oven, 425 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes. You're gonna wanna give all the veggies a toss about halfway through. When it was finished, I put some fresh grated parm on because this is Wisconsin, come on. What is cracking lacking, motherfuckers? Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make some fucking drunken shrimp garlic ramen. Put a half cup of motherfucking butter and a little bit of fucking oil. Throw in your motherfucking onion and your motherfucking jalapeno and serrano. Fry that shit up for about four minutes. After four fucking minutes, throw in all the motherfucking garlic you want. Fry that shit up for about a minute. After a fucking minute, throw your fucking tomato. Mix this shit up and then throw your fucking shrimp in that bitch. Salt and pepper these fucking hoes. Add your motherfucking parsley and cilantro. Slap all the fucking bay you want. Squeeze a half a motherfucking lemon. Add some fucking more butter and a whole motherfucking beer. Mix all this motherfucking goodness up together and bring this shit to a fucking boil. When it fucking boils, add some motherfucking sriracha and turn that bitch off. Throw your motherfucking ramen noodles in this motherfucker. Add your motherfucking shrimp to your motherfucking noodles. Then boom, bitch, drunken shrimp. Gar all right, guys, this might be one of my favorite burgers to make right here. 80-20 ground beef. Season them ever how you want to season them. Using the Camp Chef Sidekick with a griddle top to cook these bad boys on. Got it nice and hot. We're going to get a nice crust on those burgers. Next, we are using brioche bread. Not buns, we're going to use bread. Butter it up. Toast it good on each side. And now it's time to assemble. Y'all ready? All right, here we go. Mayonnaise, both sides of the bread, crust to crust. Add your first burger patty on top. Layer of cream cheese. Yes, cream cheese. Now, my buddy Chad, Maggie's Farm, homemade pepper jelly. This stuff is bomb, guys, if you ain't tried it. Next, we're gonna put our other burger patty on top. This is a mixture of a bacon, onion, bacon jam, I guess you wanna call it. Tap that bad boy off, slice into it, see what we got. That's Let's make sour cream chicken enchiladas. Add a shredded rotisserie chicken and one strained can of Rotel to a pan over medium heat. Add a liberal amount of garlic powder, ancho chili powder, cumin, salt, and pepper to your meat. Don't need to measure. Add about two cups of sour cream, one and a half cups of shredded cheese, mix well, and then stuff and roll your burrito sized tortillas. You'll fit about seven enchiladas to a nine by 13 dish. Pour half a can of enchilada sauce over your enchiladas, cover with foil and bake for 30 minutes at 350. Remove the foil, add about a cup of cheese on top and bake for five more minutes until the cheese is melted. Serve immediately. It's an easy way to spice up Mexican night. This is seriously the easiest dinner ever. It's two ingredients, super easy cleanup. I chopped up a Polish kielbasa and threw it on a lined baking sheet with some parchment paper. And then in a large Ziploc bag, I seasoned up some zucchini. And if you're not a fan of zucchini, feel free to swap this out for whatever your favorite veggie is. And same with the seasonings as well. And then I gave these a good mix and threw them on the baking sheet with the sausage. I spread the zucchini out evenly so the bottoms would get crispy and then threw them in the oven at 450 degrees for 20 minutes. And then I flipped only the sausages and threw them in the oven for another 20 minutes. Everything came out so crispy, even the zucchini as you can see, and it was delicious. Okay, here's a quick little recipe for my favorite appetizer ever. First, you're just gonna slice up some cucumbers. It's better to use the regular size, but I only have these mini ones right now. And then take some cream cheese. You can use regular or I'm using an almond based one from Kite Hill. And just put a little cream cheese on top of each one. And then a little bit of avocado on top also. Then we're gonna put some smoked salmon on top. Side note, I have kind of a funny story about this. Um, one time I was at my girlfriend's house and her boyfriend is a very, very well connected person in LA. And he had this big social media star over at his house for a meeting and I made a bunch of extra of this. And I was like, oh, do you guys want some? And the famous person ate literally all of them. And topped with some everything bagel seasoning. And hey, we want some poutine. Poutine, pause, y'all nasty. But this is not the authentic Canadian version. This is like the Drake version. Canadian with a little Memphis in it. I added some pulled pork and I didn't use cheese curds, but still delicious and a heart attack on a plate. 
Let's make an esquite. Here I'm cutting the kernels off the cob onto a bowl. Once everything is cut, go ahead and toss it in a pan with one tablespoon of butter and char it until it develops a nice color. Then go ahead and toss in a generous tablespoon of mayonnaise and mix that together. Next, sprinkle some cotija cheese and some chili powder and toss it one more time. Remove from the pan and serve with some more cotija cheese and some chili powder and top off with some lime and cilantro and enjoy. Creamy, dreamy carbonara, which essentially is just the bacon.